Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about ticker symbol ZO and one of our favorite, favorite stock on this channel, Zamedica Corp. The stock is trading at $1.88, and I do believe that this is a great time to talk about this stock for multiple reasons. One, we'll talk about one of the big updates that the company has shared. Their balance sheet is going to look even better. I discussed their financial and earning, Q4 earning and 2020 earning in the past. Now, with this update, it looks even better. We'll talk about one of the big, big catalysts that is coming up with Within four weeks from now or less than four weeks from now so we'll talk about that that is a huge huge potential so we'll talk about the big big catalyst we'll also talk about uh, what the progress looks like on their true form of product and what the company has announced just today the third thing is we'll review their price point we'll review the technical analysis we'll do the technical an analysis at a very very high level and we'll see where the price can go for Zomedica Core from this price point so we'll talk about that I'm not a financial advisor but I do a lot of research and I want to share my research analysis with you hoping it will help you making informed financial decision but do your own due diligence and analysis do not consider this video as a financial advisor to buy or sell the stocks now Zamedica Corp is a penny stock it has a great risk and great reward as well now uh, you can make a ton of money in penny stocks in a pretty short period of time on the flip side you can lose a lot of money as well so only invest what you're willing to lose because there is a high possibility that the stock can go up 100 to 200 300 percent but may go down as well pretty quickly now zomedica corp has been holding up pretty strong if you think about the market today the nasdaq was down 2.41 percent the snp was down uh, half a percent but the zomedica corp was holding pretty pretty strongly the stock was trading between 1.75 so one dollar and 75 cents right here to one dollar and 97 cents very narrow margin but pretty strong for for all day long during the trading session if you take a take a look the volume looks looks pretty healthy as well now let me talk to you about the 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 earning and the revenue the revenue there the company is not revenue positive just yet and they're burning through almost five million dollar cash every quarter but they have a pretty big catalyst that is coming up that can add a lot of revenue for the company that we'll talk about for five day the stock is down 10 11 percent for one month the stock is down almost 19 percent for six months the stock is up 1600 percent and we started talking about the stock when it was below one dollar level quite honestly around the 70 cents level we bought and sold them multiple times but since then we bought a lot of I personally bought a lot of stocks below one dollar level and I'm holding that pretty strongly uh, at this point um, and uh, the stock had a pretty big run if you take a look at the 52 week chart right here um, it is six cents as low as six cents it went two dollars and 91 cents right here which is pretty amazing to see as well now one of the big big announcement and once again I'm not a financial advisor but Zamedica retires the preferred shares that, in my personal opinion, that strengthens their balance sheet even more. And why? The company announced today that uh, they are exchanging the all of its outstanding Series 1 preferred share for its common shares. Now, that happens while they continues to progress on their planned commercialization of true form of product. Now, what that means is the company has announced that they're exchanging all of the 12 of its outstanding series one preferred shares at stated value of one million dollar per shares and that happened in the past so this is not new that was the round if you take a look right here the march 5th uh, their ceo announced or, or commented as you know since uh, fundraising in 2020 the company uh, fundraising round in july of 2020 they wanted to rationalize the preferred shares that they raised the capital for so what price did they do it so they they based the price off of one dollar and 78 cents per share which is almost two days price point in my opinion the stock was trading at one dollar and 88 cents and the company did it uh basically yesterday's price range one dollar and 78 cents and again higher the price that they uh diluted it does not really uh it adds more shares but it you pay the the the, the last number of shares are now the outstanding common shares so i do believe that one dollar and 78 cents is a pretty healthy price point it added 24 million common shares 
within the book of business for the company uh, based equivalent to 44 million dollars based on one dollar and 78 cents as, as i just mentioned and once again this happened in the past when they were raising the fund in july 2020 and the company is pretty optimistic about their product growth for true format that i'll talk in a second now what uh, in addition to their com uh, their ceo said they're considered to be uh the, for the future growth and the interest of our common shareholders the company uh, had the had taken this step and in my opinion i'm not a financial advisor once again but one dollar and 78 cents 24 million shares looks pretty pretty healthy on the balance sheet uh, it will look healthy and uh, it adds more capital for the company as well for historical reasons all the company received 12 million dollar in exchange for the preferred shares the preferred shares were entitled for 108 million dollars liquidation uh, preference and 9% royalty on the net sales of Zamedica and affiliate. So it is once again in the interest of the common uh, stock shareholders, uh, investors, retail investors and institutional investors, of course. But this is a pretty good move in my opinion and in my research. Their common shares eliminates the potential uh, effect result in the clean balance sheet for the company. It removes what was uh, in the past in their opinion or hang on the common shareholders. So this is a pretty good thing. Now, what in further news that the company also uh, and, uh, confirmed that they're on track at least at the moment uh, and they're working on uh, working on the true format product launch. Uh, they also confirmed that they completed the training in anticipation for the commercialization release of true format sales rep uh, for the Miller vet supply. Zomedica's distribution partner has also completed their initial training program. Zomedica developed and implemented training program to deliver the transformational learning program to its sales uh, sales uh, sales uh, people defined process providing a well defined strategy comprehensive this is state of knowledge in addition to that uh, the company also revealed that they are protected by approximately 70 issued pending patents uh, the true format diagnostic they are using a third party company Porvo uh, who developed this uh, technology provided by a non optical fluorescence free detection system used at point of care and this technology will see uh, what the company is going to pay in terms of royalty in exchange that will be able to find out and the company is talking about this particular product true forma um, which is uh, one of the revolutionary product and we have a pretty early stage results and use cases and the the, uh, the publication that the company shared which transforms practically the vets diagnostic where it matters the most and it is helpful for pets pets owners and also for the vets because uh, based on my research it can provide the result as soon as within 20 minutes so the pet owners may not have to leave the clinic and they can work on the next step for the severe health condition for their beloved pets, uh, cats and dogs uh, in the, uh, regarding to their health. Now, looking at the stock price, once again, the stock is pretty strong. $1.88, holding pretty strong. Their volume is pretty low, in my personal opinion, compared to the average volume of uh, $176 million. Their volume today's trading session was 58 but it might be a good thing uh, because once again, Zom, um, whenever the volume spikes up, the stock spikes up as well, as we have seen in the past. So take a look right here, $1.14, the volume spiked up and the stock hit $1.50. So it's a pretty big percentage point. From there, the volume sustained and stock hit $2, $2.91 that we have seen in early February. And the market is sideways for last couple, a few days, couple of weeks, I wanted to say. Now the volume cut was cut in half into Today's trading session but the stock uh, uh, was pretty strong in my opinion it it almost uh, got to two dollar level uh, it wasn't able to cross and so let's take a look at the the chart how it looks their rsi looks pretty healthy to me uh, the rsi is 55 for zom for one day it suggests not an over but not an oversold condition in my personal opinion if you take a look there are not many peaks and valleys there was a little bit of a dip in the beginning of the trading session but even though nasdaq was down uh more than two and a half percent the stock hit 1.70 1.97 $1.97 and since then we did not really see uh, uh, so many peaks and valleys but it the stock had a pretty good support around $1.85 uh, it did go to $1.83 but quickly got back up but i saw some resistance around $1.90 as well 
the stock tried to uh, try to clear the resistance if you see right here one dollar and ninety cents uh, tried going up went back down but there was pretty good support and resistance at the same time but it one dollar and eighty five cents looks pretty pretty promising now looking at their macd macd suggests the blue line is macd uh the blue line and the orange line which is a signal which are pretty pretty close so in my opinion the stock may run up in the positive direction very soon especially if the volume spikes up i think the volume is the key here if the volume spikes up same uh, sort of macd if you take a look for five day uh, five day chart if you take a look at one month chart you'll be start uh, we'll start able we will start seeing this green bars right here that does uh, this suggests that stock may uh, turn into into green into the positive territory and we are talking about one month so if you think about in jan in early february when the stock was about two dollar level when the market was all in green we we saw a pretty uh pretty sell off like red days in last couple of uh, couple of weeks but i do believe that uh the market condition will be better uh once we start seeing the stimulus check people may invest more money into the stock market that we have seen in historically as especially for Zomerica, there might be a lot of lot more momentum given that they have a catalyst for their product launch and commercialization for true format that is coming up. We saw companies earning results for pretty good. Their balance sheet was pretty clean as well. Uh, it strengthened their balance sheet. And I do believe that this preferred retiring preferred stock may help the, the, the common stock shareholders. And it is in favor of uh, the shareholders, uh, this decision that was made uh, because $1.78 is a pretty, pretty healthy price point in my opinion so once again going back to this rsi for one month the rsi is pretty healthy for one month not that it is super relevant but if you take a look uh, the most relevant uh, signal right here is macd given that the company has uh, has the catalyst um, company has been pretty proactive in terms of sharing more information as to when they're going to release their product uh, commercialization they're on track when they had the millers uh, wet distribution channel uh, announcement uh, it also gains the momentum they provided the training to the, their sales people they're working on, on they already worked on their preferred retiring their preferred share which is also a good thing in my opinion they're collaborating with third party company they they have seven they're protected by 70 patents and this is one of the revolutionary product uh, we'll see how big of a market uh, share the company or this product can get in future but the biggest thing is uh, the company does not have revenue at the moment so the company will be revenue positive in q2 which is a big big thing on top of what they have in terms of the cash in hand for the company with the cash of hand the company has and their ceo announced in january that they had 90 million dollar after that the company raised uh, close to 175 to 200 million and on the top of this uh, they had this uh, clearing out their balance sheet with the preferred stock that looks pretty promising as well so the company has enough cash to uh, efficiently market the product efficiently market this uh, true forma and commercialize this product for the point of care location and uh, i'm pretty excited uh, i i own the stock i'm not a financial advisor wanted to share my daily research and analysis for zamedica corp i found it pretty interesting and i hope you find it pretty interesting as well click on the like button if you I uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, uh, it, your like is very much appreciated. It ensures that this video reaches to more and more people. Consider subscribing to my channel as well. I'll be very much thankful. Thanks for your support. And uh, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.